Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the MU stand. Where do I start? This is the match reaction for Man City versus Manchester United. As you can see, we just got spanked. I mean, six, Man City six, Manchester United three. I think we're lucky. We're completely lucky to get away with just three goals gap because they've completely dominated us. They destroyed us, especially in the first half, Manchester City should have scored four i mean they did score four but they should have scored 10 in my opinion i mean they created a lot of chances united were not even uh trying to compete we just got dismantled completely i'm just gonna go through the players in terms of how how bad they did and how good they did if any of our players actually did well in this match i would start with david de Gea, of course i'm gonna give him two out of ten in terms of performance I mean, it's hard to justify the keeper's performance when, when we conceded six goals in a single game. I mean, there's no glaring error that we have seen from David De Gea, but in terms of his positioning, I think for a number of the goals, he could have been, uh, he could have been criticized because of the way he was positioning himself, I think. But really, nothing much. I mean, he hasn't saved any any shot that I remember. Uh, moving on to Delot, I think Delot had a horrible time. I mean, in the second or third minute, he got booked immediately. It was really ter uh, terrible. Uh, he had a great performance in the uh, international break, but he struggled in this game. But he's not by himself. I'm gonna give him one out of ten. But it's not. He's not by himself. Grealish. All game long, I mean, he was just completely running all over him. He couldn't stop Grealish on that right-hand side. And the first goal actually came from that side. So the load was, was not good today at all. Um, moving on to Lissandro Martinez. Lissandro Martinez, of course, uh, he had a tough day. I mean, tough, tough day. <laughs> he played against Holland, for God's sake. I mean... Varane was also next to him, but Martinez alone, I'm just going to give him 2 out of 10 because he started off dealing with pressure in the box and after that, he fell off as the game developed. I mean, he did little to, pre uh, to prevent all City, uh, Man City goals, uh, in my opinion. But he needs to improve massively. Uh, let's move on to Rafael Varane. So Varane... I'm going to give him four. Um, he struggled after he got a knock. I think they we conceded that uh, third goal because Varane was was not 100%. He was actually limping when Haaland got him behind and, and scored that third goal. And for the second goal, I believe, he wasn't on the field. I think he was injured and he was outside when the corner kick was taken from uh, by, uh, by, by Man City. He wasn't on the field. That's the reason why Holland just got clean through. We had her, puts the ball in the back of the net. And <laughs> we're 2-0 down within seconds. But overall, I don't think he he, he did a lot of wrong. Uh, it would be harsh to criticize him for getting an injury. So I'll just give him a four. Uh, Malasia. Malasia I means similar to Delot. Uh Basically, he struggled. Uh, with more success in his tackling, he did some good tackling. He was energetic, but the result was just little positive for Manchester United. I'll give him two out of ten. Scott McTominay, horrendous decision. I mean, horrendous decision to play Scott McTominay by himself against Man City. I mean, we know Eriksen is not going to protect him uh, defensively. So Scott McTominay was really exposed. That is the reason why... If you actually watched my preview, I said Scott McTominay needs to be dropped or he has to play alongside Casemiro. And that wasn't the case. I think Ten Hag made a massive call not playing Casemiro from the start. And we got exposed. Uh, even when we, we conceded the first and the second goal, I think he should have brought in Casemiro to just protect that back four. Because immediately, if you actually saw the second half with Casemiro in the team, the team actually played better. Of course, you could argue uh, Man City was uh, uh, relaxing because they were uh, leading in the game and they took out like four players and put four players in. But regardless, United significantly improved 
after Casemiro got in the team. So McTominay gets a three out of ten for me. He 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 couldn't do it by himself, and he's not good on the ball. I think I think I blame Ten Hag for that. That he exposed him. He put him by himself there all alone. That is a a huge mistake. Uh, Kristen Eriksen was just useless in my opinion. He, we should have never started him. Uh, to be honest, we should have never started Kristen uh, Eriksen because he's not going to defend. He's going to create chances, but we never had the ball. We never controlled the ball. So what is the use of Kristen Eriksen and Bruno, to be honest with you? If we were going to play a counter-attacking game, we should have started with Fred, Casemiro, McTominay and protect, completely protect that back four and then play with uh, Anthony, Sancho and Rashford or Martial up top. We really don't need a creative midfielder in this game. We didn't need it, in my opinion. We clearly didn't need it because we never had the ball. And City playing all out attack. So you really don't need a number 10. What we needed to do is play just more conservative and attack with three forwards. But that wasn't the case. Uh, we didn't do that. So I think Eriksen, I just covered Eriksen and Bruno were useless. I would give one out of 10 for both because they pretty much didn't do anything. They couldn't keep the ball. They couldn't create chances. And I don't blame them. I think it's the system we played. I think it's the system we played that, that affected them. Uh, moving on to Anthony, I think I would give him six out of 10. Of course, he hasn't done much throughout the game, but the quality he has, You've seen it in the goal. What an unbelievable shot, an unbelievable goal by Anthony. I think this kid has a lot of potential. We're going to see a lot more from Anthony moving forward, but he's still yet to completely gel with the, with, with the team. But give him another five, six games, and I think he's going to be a superstar for Manchester United. Uh, Jane Sancho, really disappointed. I'll give him three out of ten. He was really disappointing. He was hiding the whole game. But again, it's the system that basically he couldn't get on the ball because Man City controlled the ball, like completely dominated the game. So uh, Sancho was far from satisfying, in my opinion. And he was rightly subbed off uh, in the second half. Uh, Marcus Rashford is, is another one who was just a waste of space, in my opinion. I know it's harsh, but he doesn't look fit. I think I saw a graph that says he only had like five or six touches all game. It's just ridiculous. I mean, this guy was just collecting an award just a week ago for being the best player of the month in the Premier League. And we've seen how what he lacks in this game. I mean, he's not good on the ball. And the moment he gets the ball, he can't keep the ball. And that is the reason why United couldn't get out. He's one of the reasons. He's not the only reason, but that's one of the reasons why we couldn't get out because Marcus Rashford just struggled to keep the ball and somehow even struggled to get involved in the game. Um, let's talk about the subs. Okay, Victor Lindelof uh, was okay. I mean, he came on still conceded. I mean, the partnership between Varane and Martinez was... A very good combination, but we looked very shaky uh, in defense after uh, Varane has been replaced. So Lindelof uh, is not convincing for me. I don't know what we're going to do with Lindelof, but uh, certainly he shouldn't be the starter of this team. But obviously, obviously he's much better than Maguire. So I'll have him all day long if Varane is injured. Uh, let's quickly move to Tony Martial. Of course, Martial, I spoke about him earlier. He was magnificent. After he came on, he changed the game for us. He, he was able to control the, uh, the ball. Even the penalty that we got is because of uh, Anthony Martial, because of that, that, that quick turn, smart turn. Basically, uh, we got a foul in the penalty area. He converted that chance as well. So Tony Martial, I mean, for me, was outstanding, not just because he scored two goals, but we were able to attack uh, with Anthony Martial in the team. Uh, Casemiro, uh, I think he changed the game in the second half, in my opinion. After he came on, he somehow was able to protect that back four. Uh, hence, that's the reason why the team improved. He should have came on earlier uh, in the first half. If I was Ten Hag, I would have done that. But it was too little, too late for Casemiro to make any significant change. 
but he did give us a massive boost uh, boost in the second half, uh, which is why we were able to to score three goals. Uh, Fred also uh, took one shot that actually resulted in uh, Martial's goal. I would give him three out of ten, Fred, but he also uh, failed to really solidify the def- uh, the defense or develop any spark in the attack. And that is it, guys. I mean, that is all the, the players. I'm not. I'm sure I haven't forgotten anybody. I, I've gone through everybody. That's how I think about this team. It was a devastating loss. Ten hack for me uh, gets one out of ten. I think it's because of ten hack we lost this game. Of course, City are a much better team than us, but I think ten hack set us up really exposed. I think we could have been more defensive by playing four three three, playing two, uh, playing three defensive midfielders. Uh, instead of playing Bruno and Eriksen, which was a big mistake, but Ten Hag would learn, and for sure we're gonna we're gonna definitely improve. But that is it. I mean, that is my match reaction, guys. Um, don't forget to smash a like on the on the video and also subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.